The Pokemon Go Elite Trainer Box just started shipping, but I've already got my hands on some, so let's open one up. The ETB Plus is basically the Pokemon Center version of this Elite Trainer Box for the Pokemon Go set, and it comes with 12 Pokemon Go packs, a Mewtwo V promo, a set of Mewtwo sleeves, a deck box, and otherwise your standard ETB contents, with the only difference being that in this box, the dice, coin, and markers are all metal. Also for display purposes, it's all wrapped up in this box, which is different than the standard ETB. Now as I open this up, do me a huge favor and consider liking the video down below and hitting the subscribe button for more Pokemon TCG related content. All right, so here we go with our first pack and I have opened up a little bit of Pokemon Go. I opened up the Radiant Eevee collection. Um, I just really needed that Radiant Eevee card, really wanted it. And oh, it's kind of stuck together, that's a little bit weird. All right, let's see what we have here. Squirtle, love that. Oh, I've got to keep my eye out for some dittos. I haven't pulled one in the English set yet. So that reminds me. Oh, there we go with the Pikachu. I haven't gotten that yet. And the Snorlax. So we'll get that there. Not really a hit, but we'll keep it over there nonetheless. On to our second pack. And we get the V-Star marker, which I don't care about. Now, I can't remember if the... Oh, I love that slow, bro. Um, I can't remember if the... Oh, we do have a hit. If the Ditto is only in the reverse slot. Um, again, because I haven't pulled one, although I don't see it. It's not there. And we've got the Conkolder. I will sleeve that eventually. Just not right now for the sake of the video. In the Radiant Eevee collection, you can go watch the video I did on that. I uh, I pulled like what two of the Dragonites from the same box, which was kind of frustrating because like I didn't really want to. I actually really like the cards, just the Dragonite V, but I didn't want two of them. Oh my gosh, there we go. Radiant Charizard. Now I pulled this. Wow. Oh, and I forgot the energy too. I pulled this in the Japanese set. I am pumped to also have it here. Brief pause, I don't have any sleeves next to me. I think I forgot them. Ah, love this. This was definitely one of the main cards that I wanted from the set. Obviously, just with it being a Charizard. Take another look there. And oh, I've got some stuff on the sleeve that's not on the card, thank goodness. Maybe it's slightly off center, but looks to be really, really good. It might not be off center at all. Wish I had more light in here. I need to get a better light going. Um, but really happy with that pull. I mean, that alone probably is worth it to me, at least for what I'm after in this set. Um, and we still got, what, 10 more packs to go, nine more packs to go. Let's see if we can pull out something else. Now, I know there's kind of these arguments, right, of like, oh, well, this this product hits way better than, you know, this. Like, buy the AT ETBs or, or don't buy the ETBs or, you know, what have you. I've never really found that to be the case, I would say, personally. Um, Bidoof, if I know that can be a ditto, but it is not. Um... Sylveon and a Moltres. Um, throw those over here, but let's leave them up later. Yeah, I haven't found that to be the case. You know, I think it. I think like it's so easy to open up one or two ETBs or three packs or what have you and get some decent pulls and say, oh my gosh, well, you know, this has got to be what you've got to like. You got to buy these. These are where the pulls are. You know, there might be some slight truth to that on some things in some sets, but I think overall it's just not the case. Hey, we had uh, a Bulbasaur, then Squirtle, um, and another Bulbasaur. And we got the Pikachu. I think we got that in the reverse. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously so far, I think we've had two actual hits in this pack. One of them is just a V though. 
Of course, the other one being Radiant Charizard, which is definitely a bigger hit for this set. Um, so we'll see at the end of the box, but I don't think it's, it's possible to just draw an easy conclusion like some would have you believe. Uh, here we go. Got the Reverse Squirtle and the Lapras. I don't know why I'm putting some of my reverses and hollows off to the side and some uh, over there. I think I've done a good job so far. Moving on to, let's see, what do we have left here? One, two, three, four, five. And so this is pack number six, so we are halfway. And as we keep going here, got our energy. I'm just gonna go through these quick here, guys, to get to kind of those last two. Unless I see a ditto, that is not one. Love this card. That is also not a ditto and a Venusaur, which I have not pulled yet. Although I would prefer the Radiant Venusaur, of course. So like, you know, our second pack or whatever it is, we get the Radiant Charizard right. And, but so far we've had really no other pulls. We had just that V, Conkledur V, which, you know, not really a pull. I mean, it is technically it's a hit. Oh, we do have something here, I believe. Going through quick, trying not to show you guys the card until we get to the end. And our hit is uh, the Al Alolan Executor, which I will sleeve up, but I'm gonna wait a minute. I don't know if you guys are, uh, if you guys know, is that the same card that you pull from the Executor box? Or is this one slightly different that's actually in the set? I think it's the same card, but I can't quite remember. Let me know in the comments if you know. Working our way through here, I think I might have missed a card. We've got the Wimpod and Slacking V. I've already pulled this as well. Oh man, I thought that was maybe something else, but it is not. Three more packs left to go. So really only one thing worth, you know, really sleeving in this. So, I mean, no matter what, worth it. Oh, can't get that. That's two that have kind of been stuck together. That's a little bit weird. Love the slow bro. All right, moving through. Quickly here. The reverse Pikachu again. And the, oh, I don't have this either. So happy to pull this. I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve that up. It is a Charizard. I know it's not gonna be worth crazy money, uh, but I did not have it yet. I do, I do think it would be cool to get this whole set. And I do really like the artwork on this with the, you know, realistic background and then the like semi 3D Pokemon. There's a couple cards like that that I think do a good job with that. Uh, this pack feels very weird. Like almost like it was open. I don't think it was, but kind of how it feels. Let's go here. We'll get the V card. Or the V star marker, I mean. All right, and going through this quickly. We might have a hit, I can't quite tell. Larvitar, nope, and Zapdos. Uh, and I'm gonna have to thumb through these all once again, make sure I didn't pull any dittos. This is our last pack here. One, two, three, four, and again, kind of stuck together, odd. All right, let's so going through this one quick. Our very last pack. And we end with just a Moltres. So let's pull this out here so you guys can see. Again, I will sleeve these. Uh, I think this was our only other hit. So of course we do get the Mewtwo that comes with it. Um, and then as far as hits go, really not a great box as far as hits outside of having, of course, the Radiant Charizard, which I'm happy with. Conkledor V, Executor V, Slacking V. This, I mean, not really hit, but the Charizard, so I sleeved it. And then the main hit here. So there it is, one Pokemon Go ETB Plus opened up and on display for all of you. If you ordered one of these, leave a comment down below, either with your pulls that you got or what you're hoping to pull from this set. And as always, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.